um, I would like to welcome Hetty um, to the floor with me. Please come and join me in the front. Um, we're going to have our conversation the other way around. So we're going to get the keynote address at the end. Um, but we're going to have the uh, one and one conversations as a start. Um, Hetty is also a very, I'll say, good friend. I want to call you a friend, but I always have such respect for Hetty because she really is, you know, such a phenomenal woman. You're very, um, so well put together. Um, you're very eloquent in everything that you do. So I want to call you a friend, but I'm like, shh. But so yeah, I would do it dry like that, right? <laughs> I'm not saying friend to you because I, I, I take you any less, but I feel like with you, there's a certain level of respect that I have to give you. Um, you are the owner and co-founder of PNH Homes and also uh, PNH Boutique, which is an amazing um, African-inspired clothing line. Um, she's got six stores um, in uh, malls around South Africa, which is quite big. Um, you also are a business coach. You also show us um, how to get the money. Woo. You show us how to secure the bag, how to grow the bag, how to basically, you know, enhance our entrepreneurial experiences as small businesses. So I'd like to welcome you as my first guest um, um, onto the show. You can have your mic. I think maybe if you want to maybe sanitize, just for one second. Um, and then you're going to just press there. I had to close my factory. 
I had to have conversations with my staff members to say, I do not have the answers. I do not know how we're going to move forward. This was only when it was at the beginning of the 21 days. We did not know what was to come. We, we couldn't imagine not waking up and going into our business. We had to call our customers to say, as you know, we're going into lockdown, your orders are going to be on hold, and we are hoping that we will still be here at the end of this. So it's been an emotionally taxing time for many entrepreneurs. For me personally, I believe that I've gone through the various stages of grief, where you're in denial, where you are confused, where you just simply don't know what to say. You have moments where you've got a fighting spirit, and then you get a, a landlord or a, a, a tenant invoice, and then you take a step back and you retreat, and you want to hide into a corner somewhere. So if you are an entrepreneur that is streaming in right now, I want you to know that whether you are selling from the boot of your car, or whether you have a brick and mortar store, you are not alone. We have all gone through, through a very universally difficult time. And what I would like to say to every single entrepreneur is that it is okay to start again. You have permission to start again. You have permission to scale down. So for all of us in our quiet moments during lockdown, where we were forced to really have conversations with ourselves, there are moments where we come to realize that perhaps we've been spending money in our businesses on things that were there to make us appear successful. Perhaps we were engaging in relationships that were actually not bringing fruits into our businesses. Perhaps everybody in our team is not really on our team. So we have been given a unique opportunity to look deep inside ourselves and to say, let's clean house. Let's keep what is relevant. Let's remove the fat and let's look at the meat of the issue here so that we can be able to come back into the marketplace with a renewed perspective, a renewed focus that is not based on perception management, that is not based on Instagram filters, that is based on the reality of the situation. If you have to close your doors, remember that your failures are not a representation of you. You are the genius. You are the brain power. You are the body that houses the ideas and creativity that brings innovation. Your vehicle is merely, your business is merely the vehicle. And this vehicle has broken down. Does that mean that there are no other vehicles that you can use to execute your ideas? Go forward and pursue your dreams. Because now is the best time to start a business, to focus on your business, and to grow your business. There is no better time in the history of mankind to have a business, despite a global pandemic. We have the best tools and resources in the history of mankind right now. Yo, that does not even need an echo. Like, that's so well put. And um, I think, you know, it's sometimes that we know these things, but we still need the reassurance, you know, as, as, as you know, people that have to run the day-to-day -day operations, as you say, you know, we are the brains. So, I just wanted to know from you, Hetty, like, your history is in um, corporate. Um, you did not start off as an entrepreneur. You had a, you know, full-time job where I believe you were actually in a management position um, at one of the big, in fact, I'm going to actually mention it, um, at RMB, right? Rand Merchant Bank, um, everybody. So you worked in management position at Rand Merchant Bank, and then you decided, mm-mm, it ain't for me. Salary, benefits, UI, everything, 
Like everything that everybody needed now during COVID, you you, you left that behind for entrepreneurship. How is it? How is that journey? Like what even made you so brave enough to like, ah, uh -uh, I'm quitting this. Um, so, yes, that's absolutely true. I do come from a, a background of corporate. I worked within the banking, and it was a safe and secure environment. It was really absolutely wonderful, and I enjoyed the work that I did. So, my journey into entrepreneurship actually started around 2010. That was the year when Philip was here. Do you remember that time? Yeah. It was exhilarating, wasn't it? There was a, a, an energy in the air that was just absolutely pulsating. And it was also the year, incidentally, that I got married. And I remember very clearly, I was on honeymoon with my husband, and we were just daydreaming. What is our life going to look like? How do we want to live our life? And he said to me, you know what? I think I kind of like you. I'd love to spend more time with you. And what we realized that despite the fact that we were in great jobs, that paid well, that was really good, we were time bankrupt. And he said, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to make the money we want to make and actually have time to enjoy it? And that's how we realized that entrepreneurship would be the vehicle that we would use to attain our dreams. And so within business, we began to juggle our full-time jobs and have a part-time business. And we followed the Robert Kiyosaki model. He is the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And we began to apply his principles within our business. We also began to set a standard for ourselves. What do we want to have in place? in order to be able to leave our corporate job for full-time entrepreneurship. So we basically then had a target and a goal, something to work towards that would give us the indication that when this has happened, you are now secure enough to transition over. And so thankfully, just a few days ago, I actually celebrated three years of being full-time as an entrepreneur. Wow. Congratulations. And thank you so much. And, uh, it, it, it's been wonderful. And literally a year later, on the exact same day, we were able to also free up my husband's income. And we're both now full-time entrepreneurs and literally living the life of our dreams. Yeah. Woo! Give it up for that! Okay, that is, that is so amazing. And I think um, if you know, your your lessons and your experience is anything to go by, is that, um, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in this, that we don't all have to be full-time entrepreneurs, but everybody can have a side hustle. Everybody can have something that they're doing on the side, you can sell something, you can hook something up together, whatever it is. So I think it's, 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 it's nice that you brought, you know, light to the fact that you had to transition from a corporate job and then only into full-time entrepreneurship. Thank you so much, Hattie, for joining me today. I'd love to spend more time with you, uh, but we are a little bit like time pitch, so I'm gonna try and uh, speed up all our interviews uh, as much Thank as we can. So Thank much. you so much. Thank you, much appreciated. Alrighty. Um, so, thank you so much to Hetty, and um, I would like to, yo, yeah, I think there were there were quite nice, um, nice packaged little you know gems that we can all take from that.